Welcome to winemastery.co.uk. My name's John Lightfoot. This is... John Murphy. And we're here to tell you about wine, hopefully help you find the wine, if not the wines, that you will absolutely love. On this occasion, we are tasting a Yellowtow Merlot. Now, I only just realised that we did in fact taste this okay. about three years ago. I think it was 2019, 2018, 2019. So what I thought, well, well, let's just carry on and taste it. We haven't looked at that video on purpose because it'd be really interesting for us, if not for you, <laughs> it'd be really interesting to see if we come up, we come up with the same conclusions. Because we've always said that sometimes, you know, wine is down to whether you like it is down to whether you're in the right mood for it or whether you're looking for something else. So yep. it'd be really interesting. This is a case in point. We're just going to do the, you know, having not looked at that, we're going to try this again. And then I'll sort of interject some of the uh, some of the film that we had in 2019 into this, and we can just compare um, what we thought of it. So Yeah, uh, this could be quite interesting to look back on, actually, and see. Well, um, you won't look back on it. I, well, I, I like, might have a look. You don't, you don't like looking at our videos. <laughs> well, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, well, see, this might be one that I will look back at and see. Did, did we get, I mean, there's no right or wrong, is it? But see, no. what, what, we've, what we still found the same, um, or see, Taste was a change of the, like the mood. I'm just making excuses now. So should we uh, should we get going? <laughs> Let's get going. <laughs> <laughs> so should we look at the the, the colour? Indeed. So uh, it's quite. It's got quite a sort of like. Um, I'll just let you focus there because it's quite deep, isn't it? Not much yeah. light getting through there. It's a nice ruby ruby red kind of colour. That one, nice and looks rich, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It looks like to be powerful, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, but it's, it's not very brown, is it? You know, so there's not no. a brown hinge to it. It's, it looks so. That's normally. Would I be right, John, saying that normally is sort of the younger wines that have a. You know, the older wines have the sort of browny tinge. The, the old ones have the kind of browner in there. Yeah, the yeah. younger ones have the more kind of vibrant purple. Okay. Oh, well, again, depending on the grape, of course. Of course, yeah. Um, but no. So far, so good. I wonder what we said on the first video. <laughs> I'm going to question that every every inch of the way. Yeah. Okay, on the colour. Oh, what to that? Ah. That's a bit yellow, that one to do it against. Yeah, I'm thinking, well, I've got this here, but I'll just, I'll, I'll tell you the colour. You tell me the colour. Okay, it's bright, very bright. Um, it's not too garnety, it's not, no, you've had this. <coughs> it's not Ratchon, is it? <laughs> I forgot the Ratchon. <laughs> it's definitely not Ratchon, it's definitely not. It's all right, it's all right. no. It's a bright, it's got the, uh, not ruby, a kind of ruby, a ruby colour. We'll, we'll go with ruby. A light ruby colour. Okay, right. we'll live with that. Yeah. Not, not ranchant. 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 Okay. Uh, but now let's get going on the nose. Okay. Well, it's giving a lot out, isn't it? It's not very shy. It's nice. It's, it's, definitely, it's definitely um a plummy. <sighs> plummy and spiciness in there. Yes. Yeah, that spice just on that edge there. Yeah, so you got yeah. the... That's the last thing you kind of have a little... Yeah. Little plums in there, and then as you just come in and go, oh, what was that? And that, that's a little spiciness, which is good. It's good. Happy with that. Yeah. It's, it it smells, uh, well, you know, it smells delightful, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, so let's have a go on the nose. It yeah. smells sweet. It does, I don't know what I mean. I'm not sure whether that's plum or that's cherry. I would go, I'd plump, plump, plump. I'd plump for plum there. Okay. It's not quite as, um, I do, I do understand when the, the, why you might be a bit confused there, as in, it has, no, no, that's it, it's got, it has got that cherry, there's the cherry esque there, but the cherry esque would really have, at the end has a bit of a, a bitterness on the nose. That doesn't, that's, that's soft, yeah. even into sweet. Yeah, I was going to say it's, it's sweet, yeah. So that, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I would liken to plum. But yes, it smells okay. so far so good. So far so good. Okay. Are we ready to taste it? The taste. The all important taste. Indeed. Well, two things hit me there. One was, it was a nice soft feel to the mouth. It was like very quite viscous and mm. rounded. Um, and it, then I thought, wow, this is, this is quite sweet. And I thought, this is gonna get too sweet but then it didn't. The sort of sweetness backed off, mm -hmm. and uh, and now I'm actually thinking. Well, actually, you know, this this wine cost six pounds, and for six pounds, 
that's bloody good. Mm. <clears throat> I'd have to agree with you. French. <laughs> no, I'd have to agree with that. Well, first of all, what it did for me is, it, it, um, I'm sorry, I said that if, if the um, nose comes through and the flavour on the palate, then that in itself is a very good thing. And it, immediately I got the kind of, um, that very mellow, um, plummy flavour. So I was very happy with that. Um, like I said, it's got a nice mouthfeel. Fairly soft. And even that spiciness is coming through a little bit there as well, just the back. And even a little bit of red red fruit in there. Mm. Now, what you've just said there is that, that, that six pounds. For the six pounds, this cannot be knocked. But if, if I did have one, just one, it's only a small uh, kind of thing. Is the tannins just hang on a bit too long for my liking? The kind of, they, they can, because the flavor's all there. Really powerful, nice in your face. When you're thinking, like, like you said, with that sweetness and where, where's that going? It was hanging around in there and then the tannins suddenly took over and the tannins stayed there instead of the flavor. Mm. Yeah, I get that. Mm. Having said that, I, I got at the end of the flavour, you know, as you said, it was sort of plummy, and then I got sort of like a sour cherry. I don't know if that was the tannins having their effect on... No, I, th I, I, th I think you've got a combination there of the the red berry kind of thing. Then, then like you said, when the tannins come in that dry edge, I think, because you, you, you're right, it has got that kind of sour cherry. Now you've said it, it, it does ring kind of... Yeah. You can, you can taste that now when, you say, when people say it. Yeah. And I guess in terms of, and we'll get onto that in one second, in terms of the pairing, but I guess in terms of the tannin, that could well dis dissipate, well, you may not notice the tannin, if, depending on what you're eating, if you're eating with this. Yeah. Well, that is, is, is often the case, isn't it? As, as soon as you put something against that, uh, be it a, a, a meal or a cheese, uh, which I'll, I'll think about the cheese, it suddenly takes that away. So then you... You take no notice of that, and then you're just getting that the plumminess in there, the little bit of spice, and then get that that sour cherry, but without the dry edge. Mm. It's sweet. Mm. It's quite. I'm surprised at the amount of fruit flavour there is in that. And I'm surprised. Uh, no, no, it's, it's unusual because when. <laughs> I was going to say, John, I was going to say. That's what you say. Uh, hold on one second. So I was going to say. Yes. <coughs> don't think about it. Okay. What I was going to say is, it's, I'm not going to say, I was saying, what, when you first had a smell, and I smell, and you said, you can't decide whether it's plum or cherry, and I just smell that. Mm. Oh, it's definitely plum there. Plum is the prominent one there. But then tasting it, uh -huh. it's the opposite. Cherry comes through. A okay. red, red cherry. Are you crying? Did you yes. laugh that much yes. at your own joke? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a joke. That was a... It was a prank, wasn't it? Yeah, whatever colour way you want. <laughs> anyway, back to the wine. Back yes, to back to the wine, wine yes. Uh, so yeah, for me now, now the cherry-ish. <laughs> <laughs> Second, that is like I truly like a naughty boy, and I, I, I have to do wine tasting. <laughs> so All right, just for me, man. Right. So, so the um, yeah, the cherry flavour really comes through, but it has got that uh, a lack of complexity. But I'm not saying that in any bad way because I think this wine will work because the, the, at the end of it. Like the taste you get for me now, it comes through as cherry, that red cherry, nice little kind of sharp edge to it, which is not a bad thing, not for a minute, but it's very one dimensional. Then, then it kind of disappears, but then tannins come through, and you get this like a little hint of tannins, not not nearly like these massive big things, uh, what I would call beginners, beginners tannins. Beginners I'm, I'm tannins. saying that I would like those tannins, but it's it's not of a complex. So, although this might be you know a very common wine or something you will see everywhere, yeah. 
uh, there's a reason why you do see this everywhere and that reason is because it's a, an all-rounder so to, to going with that one uh, for your cheese um, I'm just racking my brains down because there's so, so many, so many that can take the tannins away and, and make it more enjoyable. Um, I would probably go with this one. I'm going to I'm going to choose a harder cheese and and it goes something like um, an Ogle Shield um, the, the, from the gentleman who makes Montgomery cheddar, which I know I've recommended before. But I think that would be absolutely perfect for that. And so the uh, it, and again, I'm thinking in terms of people that may not be able to in different countries are looking at this may not be able to get Ogle Shield. What is a, perhaps a more uh, an global, easier option, yeah. yeah. Um, an aged Gouda, an aged Gouda would go, you know, you can get, pick those up in most places. And the advantage um, of that is you can ask whoever <coughs> you're eating with to share it, because it's Dutch. <laughs> We're only one glass in and he's, he's hitting me with this already. <laughs> He's right proud of it as well. Look at his little cheeky champion face. But you're very right. Yeah, yeah, you could go Dutch. But yeah, I think that would nice age guard with that. And I think I say you could get that in most places. Yeah, global global so, brand. So food food wise, John, what would you think? Oh, food wise. So it's not really going to be. I wouldn't say a ghost. I'm thinking. Well, I'm not coming up with an automatic. Yeah, this is what I'd have with. It. I'm trying to think. Well, you know, as I'm going through, I don't think it'd be right with steak. Um, it depends on the, the type of stew, but if you had a sort of beef stew that was quite sort of, because sometimes you can get beef stews that are quite sweet with sort of red wine sauce and stuff, and maybe mm. that would go mm. with, with, with this, you know, sort mm -hmm. of vegetables in it. Yeah. Yeah, and again, I know I say this a lot, John, but when you start suggesting the food that goes with the wine and I'm stood here, I, I'm always like, oh yeah, I yeah. guess your taste was going to I could right see that, but I think, no, I think you're completely correct with that. Might not be butch enough to take a steak on. Mm, I, think, I think the steak might overpower that a little bit. But yeah, nice, nice kind of um, stew. I yeah, I, I, I could live with that. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. Yeah, yeah. So I, mean, I don't think there's any sort of I can't think of any sort of Italian dishes or, or that, that would necessarily go with this. No, um, but it, I think you know the other thing um, that, that struck me is that it's, it's quite sort of jammy in terms yes. of taste, you know, and so it, it might be uh, useful for people that are actually you know trying to move into red wine from white. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's got a little bit of sweetness to it, so... Yeah, it'd be, it'd be, that would be a natural, I think, progression. I don't maybe the, the tanning end would put them off, having said that. Oh, if, if they're having it with food? Yes, if they're having it with food, mm. then there should be no problem, yeah. Mm. Okay, okay, so now now we have to come back to, like, scoring this and... The score. And again, the, 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 the price, because you don't actually shock me, then the price is, is going to be a big factor for me in scoring this. Um, but before you do it, can I just ask, because I don't know, I mean, in terms of the Merlot, is that a, a typical Merlot, would you say? Yeah, if, if we were doing the, that kind of um, the blind tasting and we'd, we'd knock it down to what it isn't as opposed to what it is, I, I think I might get that, but only from the, um, uh, uh, the, the plumminess, the plumminess and the spiciness, that's what I'll get, because then that, that throwing the cherry in there would probably throw me out slightly, and the tannins as well being quite quite big in there that might throw me out but there would be a possibility i would get that so i'm not going to say it's a stereotypical merlot where i would taste like well, there's a merlot that's what it tastes like so that will come into you know this the scoring as will the six pounds price ticket yeah and i think if you're right you as you suggested the six pounds has a big impact on the score because um, are you going first or should i go first um I'll let you go first. Okay, so I'm gonna go uh, on the basis because it is six pounds, I think it's 76, because um, it is such good value. You know, you, you can't really complain. I, you know, I think you'd be really picky, you know, at six pounds to complain about this. Definitely. Uh, my score was just one below your 75. Okay. And I think uh, deserves every, every one of those points. Um, because like you said, that's, that's, that's six pounds. For that is a pretty good value, um, albeit you know it's not the most obvious meal I've ever tasted, but that's still a very good bit of wine for six pounds. And especially when you consider probably that the actual winemaker is only getting I don't know fifty p of that or something. If if that from each yeah yeah maybe thirty p because of all the tax and the carriage and the marketing and all of that. And so bottles, yeah uh, yeah. So <laughs> if you take that into account, that's like you know phenomenal value, phenomenal value. Yeah. He has to go through it all, you know, every little inch of the... 
Well, I like to know where my money's going. I know you do, John. I know you do. <laughs> I think everybody knows you do. <laughs> <laughs> it might be the first time you're looking at this and you wouldn't know. So watch some more videos. You'll soon find out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please watch more videos. Well, absolutely brilliant wine. Uh, it'd be really interesting when I'm editing this to see what how we've... How we have uh, comments, yeah, 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 yeah our yeah, previous then. comments to see, uh, you know, if we're poles apart, whether we're, we're pretty consistent. It'd be really interesting. Um, so uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Uh, you know, obviously I'll be adding bits into this that we don't know that I'm going to be adding into yet. I have no know. idea. This is, yeah, well, I can't wait to see that one. <laughs> <laughs> or can I? I don't want to think. Yeah. <laughs> So, uh, but if you like, you know, if you enjoyed this one, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already, of course, uh, subscribe. Um, and we really look forward to seeing you and joining you in another glass of wine. We'll see you in the next one. Chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs>